This week's post is about RSS feeds and how they can be used in science. And uh, I recorded this uh, video podcast, if you like, to uh, give a short introduction uh, so that you can watch this. And if you're interested enough, you can read the rest of the post. The most common use of RSS feeds is to keep up to date with your favourite websites. Rather than checking back uh, every so often to see if there's new content on your website, uh, you can use an RSS feed so that your feed reader will be updated every time there's new content on, uh, on your website, which is always handy. I think one of the most exciting things with RSS feeds is where you have websites that allow you to generate your own custom feeds. So an example of this is HubMed, that's uh, with a H for hotel, which allows you to search for papers, for example, on a specific subject area or perhaps a specific author. And then with these set of results, you can generate an RSS feed. And what makes it most interesting is uh, that if when new papers are published by that author or in that subject area, the RSS feed is updated. So you can always keep abreast and up to date on what new papers are being published in your field or by, by an author you like. And I think that's one of the most exciting things and one of the most handy things uh, that you can do with RSS feeds in science. So RSS feeds don't need to be just restricted to websites either. If you want to, you can use an RSS feed to monitor pretty much anything you want where you can access it with a computer. Uh, for example, if you've got jobs running on a computing cluster, there's no reason you couldn't have the cluster during an RSS feed, so instead of having to log in every so often and check if your jobs are finished, the computing cluster would just generate an RSS feed and update uh, every so often when a job was finished, and so therefore you'd be notified by your RSS feed uh, and you'd be able to get on other things, which I think is uh, pretty useful, I guess. So yeah, that's it. Uh, a short video abstract if you liked this post. If you want to, read it. Otherwise, don't.